Hey guys, it's Ben. Uh, first of all, uh, happy Halloween to everybody. Uh, hope y'all are gonna have a more fun Halloween than I am. Uh, I'm not really doing much of anything uh, for Halloween. Um, not really, just not really feeling it. Um, I don't think I've really felt Halloween in about five years. Uh, I know there's so many people where it's their it's their favorite holiday. Uh, I don't really get it. Um, the only thing fun about it to me is just dressing up. And yeah, you can do that whenever the hell you want. Um, so yeah, Outlaw Nights is now 25% funded. So we have hit the quarter mark. So we are 25% funded and we have got about 23 days left. Um, yeah, good, good stuff. Um, if you have not checked it out yet, uh, I urge you to click on the link in the description of this video. Uh, it will take you to Indiegogo where Outlaw Nights is currently still for sale. Uh, yeah. And uh, hopefully, let's let's get this puppy funded. Let's do it. Uh, I am so ready to to get this book together and get it in your hands. Um, it's uh, it's hard fighting it, uh, fighting my impatience when it comes to it. Uh, so badly, I just want to do it. You know what I mean? Like I just want to. I want to. I want to get it out there. You know. Um, but you know can't put the cart before the horse all that jazz uh one thing you need to know about uh recovering alcoholics is that uh we struggle uh insanely with patience um we like you know we're we're instant we're an instant gratification type of crowd <laughs> um so you know uh, working on projects like this is definitely good in terms of training my discipline. It's also nerve-wracking as hell. Um, so, you know, there's that. My brain's, uh, once again, my brain's not completely functioning. Uh, I just got done, uh, re-watching, uh, one of the Halloween episodes of, uh, of, uh, Smallville. Um, it's when, when, uh, Lana Lang is possessed by, uh, the spirit of her ancestor, and, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hot. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Outlaw Nights. Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. This is hopefully going to be the first of six issues, although... I want to keep this going beyond six issues. I'd like to just keep it going as long as people love it. Um, but of course, you know, can't get to point C before we tackle point A. Um, so uh, essentially, uh, you know, this is our this is our pilot issue, if you will. Um, I mentioned this in the video yesterday about how. Um, even though it is the first of six, um, and even though there are certain elements of the story that are very unresolved, um, there are characters in it that are not fleshed out as of yet. Um, I bet, you know, the big challenge I had with writing this was that I had so many, I had a bunch of character ideas, um, but uh, as I was thinking about, like, you know, the uh, overall structure of the story, um, I realized I had to simplify certain things down. Um, because, you know, it's the thing about it, uh, the big challenge nowadays uh, when it comes to writing uh, a lot of characters is, you know, juggling them and making sure that mm -hmm. uh, each character kind of has their, their arc or their, their moment in the sun. Um, that's a challenge, uh, you know, in, in, when you have a large cast, um, pr 
primest example I can think of of an example of that, uh, for me at least, was uh, the third Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Um, because they did this thing where it was like they, they left a bunch of issues unresolved from uh, the second movie. And then they decide uh, to throw in at least like five subplots, um, you know, to the new movie. As well as having to resolve the old plots. Um, and it became a, uh, you know, a three hour clusterfuck of um, betrayal and... Uh, you know, just, it's like, I, half the time you can't quite follow everybody's character motivation because you only get small snippets and windows with them, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's, and, you know, the thing about the third Pirates is it actually, it was better than I would, than I would argue uh, most movies who try to juggle uh, a lot of those plot lines, but it still wasn't uh, what I would consider... Um, brilliant cinema, <laughs> you know. Uh, it, it felt very disjointed. It felt like um, you were trying to cram too much into one movie, um, and that's ultimately what I wanted to avoid with Outlaw Nights. I didn't want to feel like I was cramming a bunch of stuff in your face. Um, so I essentially had to simplify it down and center it more around Cyrus's uh, journey. Um, because in many ways, I think the way I designed it, it was like Cyrus was sort of just our window into the pirates originally, but I realized, uh, before I wrote, before I started writing out the script that, uh, Cyrus needed a bigger role as the main character. Um, so I re I restructured the story to where it's more centric around, um, it's centric around Cyrus and his perspective. Um. So hopefully, yeah, I think that helps. Um, son of a bitch.